Hello and welcome to Canoe the North. Today we're gonna make a, well, do something a little bit different. So what I'm gonna do, what the plan is anyways, is these big beautiful spruce trees behind me. Uh, last time I was up here camping, I got thinking to myself that it would be a perfect shelter underneath one of the trees. So instead of setting up a tarp or a tent or a hot tent, all I'm gonna do is make a little natural shelter with uh, maybe some snow and some spruce boughs and spend the night under a tree. It's supposed to get pretty cold tonight. Uh, I think it was in the minus 20s this morning here anyways, so we're going through a bit of a polar vortex, whatever that is. It basically just means a cold winter day. But uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's build this little shelter and uh, get a fire going and we're gonna cook some food. I think I found a pretty awesome little spot back here. There's cover on one side. I can just take a couple of these small limbs down here and I can have a little fire where I can cook my meal tonight. And then I can, uh, there's a little way in and out of the far side. So let's get this going. New shovel. Last time I was out, I was using my snowshoes, which work well in the light powder, but definitely, oh, if I can figure out how to use a shovel. There we go. Ooh, right on, Lou. So we've built up that snow wall on this side, which is the exposed side. It's it's straight bush over this way. And I think it's gonna be really nice under here tonight. And we'll get a fire going up there. Yeah, I think this is gonna be perfect. I 
I think it might even be more comfortable than sleeping in a tent. So let's uh, let's get the sleeping hey Lou. Let's get the sleeping pad and everything set up, and then uh, then we'll start cooking. Hey, okay? what are you doing? What are you doing? Go on, go on. Try a different tactic tonight with Betty. I'm gonna put her in a down jacket. So let's see if she'll go in. Come here, Luke. Come on. Come on. Over here. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Oh. That looks pretty good. Eh? It's not too bad, is it? Okay. Good girl, come on. I'll try that out, Lou. Eh? Okay, we gotta get a fire going here. Get some wood. Hey, Lou. What do you think? Okay, so we got a nice fire going here and it is uh, it's actually starting to snow a little bit and I don't think it was supposed to snow so anyways not a big deal we got a little bit of snow on my my sleeping bag but that uh, we can deal with that oh beautiful I'm tired shouldn't be tired had a good sleep last night but I don't know I'm kind of dragging here but uh, we're going to cook up some Cornish hens. 
which should be pretty good. I got two of them, so I'll, one for me and, well, I'll give some to Lou as well. And, uh, yeah, just hang out and enjoy the rest of the rest of the evening. It's absolutely beautiful out right now, so. So just before we cook up these Cornish hens, I just wanted to ask everyone who's interested in outdoor stuff, whether it be camping, canoe tripping, backcountry angling, fly-in fishing trips, just generally being outdoors and doing some cool stuff. If you're interested in that sort of thing, please consider subscribing. We've got tons of good stuff coming up this year. And uh, yeah, I wanna share it with all you guys. So hit that button over here or here, and let's cook up some food. And also, hit that notification button. Even people that are already subscribed, if you could hit that notification button, that also helps this channel out uh, very, very much. So thanks, thanks guys, appreciate it. Oh, time to chill out, Betty. Hey, time to hang out for a little bit. Trying a new thing this trip. I'm uh, insulating my Nalgene just with an old sock here. I guess not that old, but just to keep it a little bit, try and keep it a little bit warmer anyways. Um, last time I was out here, it was slushing up pretty good. So yeah, anyways, so I'm gonna try this out. Get some water boiling here because I need some more water and uh, cook these Cornish hens up. And this is gonna be a good night. I'm starting to kind of perk up a little bit as i said before i was a little bit tired but i'm after seeing these hens on the uh, over the fire i'm pretty excited about this Ooh. get that baked potato going We are gonna try a new one tonight. It's the Wayne Gretzky, what's it called? Red Cask Premium. Let's give that a go. Oh yeah, it smells good. That's smooth. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty impressive. Holy, 
I'm definitely no whiskey connoisseur, but oh, geez. Like that is like, that is smooth. Super, super smooth whiskey. It probably maybe helps that it's, feels like it's about minus 50 outside right now. But man, that is good. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually having a hard time keeping the camera going. I think it's actually colder this time than it was maybe last time. It, uh, the camera keeps kind of acting up on me, freezing up. And, and the batteries are just dropping super rapidly. I got the batteries in a, I got them in a sock as well and I'm just constantly trying to keep them charged because it seems like they get to around 50% and the camera kind of wants to go to sleep. So hopefully I can keep filming here because I, uh, I want to I wanna get everything I can tonight, but oh. that is good. Oh. Wayne Gretzky. Damn good hockey player. Makes good whiskey too. The last winter camping trip I went on, I kind of asked a question about scarves and whether they're cool to wear or not and pretty overwhelming response in favor of scarves. So for anyone out there that's maybe a little bit, you know, they don't feel like scars are cool or whatever, based on this channel and everyone that's watched and commented, almost every single person has been a huge fan of scarves. One guy did kind of call me out for wearing it, but that's okay. You know what, you're not gonna, you're not gonna please everybody. You're gonna make everybody happy. And it uh, seems like, as I said, the overwhelming majority of people are huge lovers of scarves. Even if you don't make it look cool, it's just super functional, right? You snuggled in on the snow bed. Yeah, you're good. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Pretty new to this winter camping thing, and I'm I'm really enjoying it. it. is It's a lot of fun, and for people that haven't done it, I I just want to tell them if this is maybe maybe they're thinking about getting into it. Seriously, like I'm out here, it's it's gonna be I don't know somewhere between probably minus 20 and minus 30 maybe tonight, and that's not with the wind chill. I don't know what the there's not much wind right now. It's actually clearing up the. Snow is stopping, but let's just call it minus 20. And I'm out here with a couple, with really not much, other than my clothing, a little sled. I don't have a tent, I don't have a tarp, I don't have anything other than a couple sleeping bags and some foam mats. And my sleeping system is, it's really warm. I, I have to say it's, it's super warm. So if you're gonna do something like this, definitely dress up and wear as much down as you can or bring as much down as you can it packs down so small and then I, as i said i've got a wool sweater on underneath super warm i think i'll i will actually um last last video i linked the foam pad but um i actually think i'm going to make links for not only the foam pad but the sleeping pad as well so if people are interested in doing this sort of thing they can at least get a setup um, which is the Thermarest NeoAir X Therm, and the I think it's the Thermarest Thermarest uh, Solite, maybe it's called the foam pad. But excellent, excellent, excellent setup, and it works really, really, really well. It's super warm, and I'm sure I'll make it through tonight without too much problem. And this is looking good. Yeah. Oh, who needs Swiss chalet when you can cut these little Cornish hens like this? 
So I was going through the analytics for the last video and one of the things I find super interesting and I, and I don't know why it's it's uh, it's probably pretty obvious for most people but um, it's just looking at where everyone that's watching the video is from and so for people that don't have a YouTube channel um, on your videos it'll break down what country the the viewers are from what percentage of your views are from what country and it's really cool to be able to see that there's people in Japan and Australia and New Zealand and Korea Saudi Arabia all over the world um, got people all over Europe that uh, that have viewed the last video so if you guys if you guys um, would like it's totally up to you obviously but in the comments um, feel free to leave leave uh, where you're from and if and if you'd like as well there, there was a few comments that were in French on the last uh, video and I thought that was kind of cool too that, that somebody left a comment in a different different language so if even if you're say you're from Finland I don't speak Finnish but I, I find it kind of cool to go on Google and translate whatever whatever you put on there I think it's kind of a neat thing so if you'd like to put your comments in whatever language you speak, wherever you may be in the world, it's it's kind of a cool thing. So, and this Cornish hen is looking really, really, really good. Check that out. Doesn't that look good? Oh, yeah, baby. They're getting close. They're not quite there. They're almost there. It's looking really, really, really good. Season with some salt again. Okay, I think this baked potato. Oh yeah, that baby's done. Let's put it off the side. And then this chicken is a cornish hen. Looking on oh my god. Yep, that looks pretty goddamn good. Quite a few uh, spruce needles in here. That's okay. I don't. Uh, I don't get too worried about them. We'll cover this up. Oh yeah, it's nice and warm. Oh, I think I'm gonna have some of this potato here. Ooh. This garlic butter here. Gee, you guys have never tried this. This is deadly. This is kind of a camping trip. We don't normally use this. Oh, use this as a at home, but it's just so good. Tell me that doesn't look delicious. Holy, good God. So we've got the other uh, Cornish hen just sitting there waiting. I'm going to slam this right now. Oh man. That was good. You know, I know oh, I should be disappointed. There's no green vegetable. If you guys have never done a baked potato on a fire before, it's it'll change your world. You'll never camp the same way. I actually went on a flying fishing trip with my brother. Well, flying fishing trip to a, we didn't have a cabin or anything, it was just to some lakes. And we 
basically just brought some baked potatoes and couscous for the better part of two weeks. And man, I tell you, you get to enjoy it. You just love it. And fish, we had fish, lots of fish. But you certainly take fishing seriously when you don't have any backup. When you don't have Cornish hen there, you'll never fish harder. I can promise you that. I think that's about it for the day, guys. Um, I'm gonna cuddle up in bed here. Betty is tucked right in, and it is bloody cold outside. I don't know what the exact temperature is, but it's gotta be below minus 20 right now. <coughs> and that's without the wind chill. Like, I don't know, uh, it, it's cold. It's a cold, cold night, so. We're gonna get all tucked in here and see if we can make it through the night. I think we'll be just fine though. We'll see you guys in the morning. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> You're all tangled up. Okay. But he's pretty excited to be up. It's a gorgeous morning. It uh, wasn't too bad of a night. We made it through. Hey, Betty. We made it through. It was it was totally okay. Um, yeah, a bit of cloud cover actually moved in, which probably warmed things up a few degrees. I don't know what it got down to last night, but uh, beautiful. So let's get a fire going. Uh, we'll warm up and make some breakfast. Betty, you want breakfast? Let's go. Go on. Well, that's pretty much it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed and if you've made it this far please consider subscribing and turn that notification button on for all upcoming adventures and i hope you guys are able to get out yourself and enjoy the beautiful winter weather i know i'm loving this winter camping thing there's something really special about getting out here in what is normally an off season for most people so we'll see you guys on the next episode play safe <laughs>